Thank you, Scott, for studying. Uh, and there are a lot of a lot of advantages. Uh, for example, maybe uh, if you like uh, films, uh, as you know that uh, all the films are in English. So if you know English, you will understand the film. And um, also, uh, for example, if you study English, uh, you have the opportunity to go to the United States. And I don't know. Uh, and, work there and you will obtain a lot of money and also and maybe if you would like to to get married with a American woman uh, you have to know the language. I know I will be concerned about where are more advantages like for example if you want to work and grow or live and grow you to know the language. Uh, yes. And but at least you have to uh, you have to to be in an intermediate level and yes. you want uh, for example if you well, if you study foreign languages you could also study tourism and com and combine those careers and those you know, to maybe Mm -hmm. Yes, maybe if you are thinking and um, going to the United States, uh, uh, you have to uh, at least uh, understand and know some expression to communicate there with the people. Um, also, I don't know, uh, you have to know vocabulary, uh, um, idioms. And what do you think is the most difficult part for learning English for you? Uh, the most difficult part for me is uh, listening. <laughs> because uh, some dialogues and uh, people uh, speak quickly. And I'm not good at that. But in vocabulary and grammar, I think that I'm I'm good at that. Well, you? For me, yeah, listening to, uh, and also, well, grammar for me is not so difficult, but I find it was so boring, and I think that yes. when some teachers uh, teach grammar, they have to be more, in, they have to, to put in the class and uh, more interact with the students, because uh, studying grammar and grammar is so boring, and I, I think that um, teachers have to find more ways to explain that part language. Um, well, um, and, <laughs> ah, but, and if you, for example, want to travel or you want to work abroad, it's very important that you get your international certification because if you get it, uh, you will have better opportunities to get a job than if you don't have a certification. So it means that you're going to take it. Yeah, I, I think, uh, I would think in t to take uh, maybe this year or maybe this year or maybe a but I'm not sure. I think that it is boring, but also I have to take it. But first I'm going to finish French and then I'm going to uh, take some of these exams. What do you think about, I don't know, yeah, studying French? Well, uh, French for me is mm, a little difficult than English. It's like Spanish because yeah. uh, the question is it's <laughs> really difficult and I also have to communicate all the verbs and you have to learn vocabulary, you have to learn how to communicate all the verbs and well, it's more difficult. Bye.